like for you? I mean, what have you been at? What have been training for and everything? Yeah, it's been a fun process. Um, something you look forward to uh, as a player, um, getting the opportunity to come out here and perform for the scouts and, and teams and things like that. And, uh, it's been a really fun process training with all the guys. Uh, everybody having the same goal in mind and everybody pushing each other to be the best that we can. Now, I mean, you, you guys all look, still live in the same house. I mean, you, Josie, and Bo, and uh, Ike. So, so nothing's changed from the training perspective. I mean, you're not in practice, of course, but, you know, just that you've all probably working out together and everything. I mean, yeah, yep. it's been a lot of fun. What did, uh, when Josie came back from the combine, what kind of tips did he give you on maybe questions he got or something like that? Uh, I mean, he he gets grilled a lot more intensely than I will because of um, how high profile of a player he is in, in the position that he plays. But uh, he just it, it was more uh, performance based stuff that he that he said it was uh, it was a lot more difficult than he thought it would be. And you know you can't you can't uh, worry about the spotlight, the pressure, and things like that. And you just got to go out and do your thing and, and uh, really fall back on your training. To be a fullback at the next level, what did you feel like you had to? How did you feel like you have to maybe train differently or uh, here versus what you used to train? Uh, no different, no different. Uh, I just have to continue to work on um, being as big and strong as possible, and and pairing that with being as fast and nimble footed as possible, and things like that. And uh, yeah, just just focus on speed and agility and strength, mm -hmm. things like the same thing I've been focusing on for the past five years. Um, what about like weight gain? You know, is that more important at the next level than it was, at, say, at Iowa? I mean, for you know, to be like 250 pounds at the yeah. next level. I mean, I, I'm weighing 250 right now. Oh, all right. Um, so yeah, it was it was a little easier to put on the weight because the only things I had to do was eat, sleep, and train. Uh, the weight the weight went on pretty naturally. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's important. I mean. The, the higher you get, the higher level you get, the bigger the guys get, the stronger they get, the faster they get. So, yeah, it's just important to continue to uh, to improve with the curve. Who's your Who's your agent right now? Uh, Ken Zunsick. Okay. And where's he based? Uh, Chicago. Chicago. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, uh, fullback in the NFL, right? I mean, mm -hmm. is there anything else teams are talking about? Uh, I mean, when you play fullback, you have to play a lot of special teams right, and, right. and be versatile in that way. So yeah, just, just play fullback and play special teams and try and make uh, whatever, it, it, it increase my value in any way possible. You were, you were a long shot to make it under the field here, mm -hmm. and you did. You're a long shot to make an NFL team. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like it's, you're like an MMA fighter who's comfortable fighting off his back because <laughs> you've been doing it your whole career. Do you, do you feel like you're up for an, another one of those climbs? Because you're a freshman again now. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if I'd necessarily call myself a long shot to make the NFL. Um, luckily for me, there are several fullback positions open in the mm -hmm. NFL this year, uh, several teams that don't have one on their roster. And uh, another thing that, that is good for me is the fact that there aren't – I don't want to downplay the athleticism of the guys I'm going against or myself, but unlike somebody like Josie, where he has to, or Bo and Ben, those guys, they are competing against some of the best athletes on the planet mm -hmm. to play linebacker at the next level. Whereas for me, it, I don't know if, if I don't know. I, I don't know a good way to say this, but it's just like I don't feel that I am lesser than any right, of, of the guys that I am competing against right. for the job, and that's why I don't feel like I'm necessarily an underdog. How much homework? It sounds like you've done your homework. And mm -hmm. uh, where, how many teams do you think? How many openings? How many openings for fullback are there? Well, there's there's eight. There's between eight and ten teams right now that don't even have one listed on their roster. And then, uh, as far as my agent and I have, are concerned, even the teams that have them, there's several of them that aren't necessarily happy with who they have, and those there's another handful of openings there. And, and then a lot of teams want to have at least two of them in camp with one of them on their active roster and one of them on their practice squad. And so there's there's a lot of opportunities out there for me. So you've done your homework, and you, 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 you see a spot for it yourself. Yep. Absolutely. And how does the combine go as far as numbers? And are you on that path athletically as far as what they're looking for? Yeah. Um, I don't know necessarily all my numbers from today. There's uh, there's a discrepancy in the 40 time because 
uh, Coach Doyle was unable to get it on the laser uh, just for you know technical difficulties. I didn't get a laser time, so there's obviously going to be discrepancy in the hand times. But uh, yeah, as far as that goes, I either performed on par or above okay. the the combine numbers. So. Yeah. And the other thing is uh, your position sometimes is cheap. You know, I mean, if you're a free agent, your league minimum. Everybody's looking to cut somebody somewhere, and if, if you're a fullback, in some ways you're expendable. If you're a veteran, and in your case, you could probably take advantage of that. Yeah, I mean, I'll still play for six hundred thousand dollars. I really don't care. You know, <laughs> doesn't doesn't have to be twenty five million that Kirk Cousins is making. Six hundred thousand is plenty good for me. So. What do you think you add to a team? I mean, we know what you can do here, but what can you add to an NFL team? Yeah, I think I, uh, I think I add um, a level of just kind of like a, a do-it-all kind of guy. Um, I can play all four phases of special teams. I, at, at some point in my career, I've played all four phases of special teams here. Um, I, I would like to consider myself as somebody that's really tough and will bring and will bring a. A level of toughness to the team, and just somebody that'll to, that'll come to work every day and make sure that I get my job done to the best of my ability. You're on one of the few teams in the, in college football that values fullback, mm -hmm. puts fullback on the field. Wisconsin, Iowa, Michigan. Now, um, do you feel like that has helped you? You know, helped sell you that you played fullback for you know pro style offense for five years? Yeah, I would. I would say that. Um, the tape that I've put together over the past two years speaks for itself, and I don't think anybody doubts my ability as a fullback. Maybe people doubt my ability uh, as an athlete. Uh, I hope that uh, going forward, I can I can maybe silence the doubters a little bit there. But um, yeah, I think that there is there was plenty of opportunity for me to put together um, good tape from here over the past couple of years, and and have a coach like Coach Ferentz and Coach Brian Ferentz as advocates for me, um, and how well I'm able to play and what I can bring to the team. So yeah, I think it was important.